What's up, welcome back to another video. Today we shall discuss if Shenry is worth pulling or not, and the pool value for different types of players. Before we begin, I will once again emphasize that some comments I have for Shen Yun will only be applicable for meta slaves. If you love Shen Yun, by all means please pull for her. But the information I will cover can still be useful for most players like team comms, builds, weapon, and artifact selection. Anyway, we will split today's content into different parts, answering several questions to analyze her pool value. These questions are, is Shen Yun good for exploration purpose? Is Shen Yun a good support and healer that is able to replace Baiju or Jin in Farina teams? How good is Shen Yun for Xiao mains? Can any other DPS utilize the plunge attack buffs and actually be an upgrade to the normal gameplay? How do I build her? And finally, her pool values compared to other meta units. Obviously, we do not have any official info on her stats yet, so we will only discuss this very vaguely and pretend we do not know the stats and number. And a lot of points that I've covered in this video will also require testing when the character is released. Now firstly, her value in exploration. Shirin's skill allows her to jump forward or outward 3 times. This outward distance seems to be taller than Kazuha and Venti, but shorter than Wanderer. The forward jump's distance of her skill is almost as far as Wanderer or Yelan, but Wanderer is still better in exploration since you can fly forward or outward effortlessly with him, especially when he has a shorter CD. But with Shenyu, it seems a bit difficult to control the direction of the jump. This also requires some testing when she is released. But if you can't stand how Bro constantly calls you useless in his voice line, then Shenyu is still a great option for exploration. Because though her travel distance is slightly shorter than Wanderer, she is still the fastest among this exploration unit. As for other utility, she needs her burst to heal so her healing is next to useless during exploration, as you won't have her burst up all the time anyway. That's her exploration value, now for her meta value. Her burst will create a small follow up attack from the current every time the active character plunge hit an enemy unit, but the scaling is so low that it is not worth building Shen Yun around that mechanics. But that is not important, what's important is her burst, buff, plunge attack, and heal. I'll cover this plunge buff later, but now I will cover the heal first. Now, as a healer, obviously, if they were to release a limited 5 star, they would need to make sure that she is at least better than another animal standard character from Standard Banner, right? Well, the question is better by how much? Let's just assume a few things. Firstly, Shenyun is a Catalyst user. When using the Vernal Wind set, it is easier for her to apply or reapply the Rash Red by just using one auto attack. This is something that she is better at doing than Jin, but that is just a small upgrade. Let's talk about the healing. Assume Shenyun heals more than Jin, that's really not that important as well. What Shen Yun can provide for Farina team is the ability to heal without being jailed in a circle. The current issue that Jin has is she is not able to provide consistent healing that works well with Farina summons. To stack the fanfare points efficiently, as you need to stay in the circle that she created that only heals the active character standing on it. With Shen Yun, judging from the showcase and demo, she does not draw a circle but has a decrant following the active character, and she can also provide healing to the whole team and free to move around during the duration. Shen Yun also has longer skill duration and shorter CD, so she has longer uptime allowing higher survivability and more comfortable rotation. But that is still not the most crucial upgrade. Another issue that Jin has is she provides a big team healing upfront and a very small amount of subsequent healing for only 10 seconds to the active character only. This does not work well with Rina as it requires the team's HP to be half before Jin uses her burst to stack the fanfare points faster. Stacking fanfare with her subsequent healing for the active characters only is simply inefficient. For example, if the team is at full health in the first chamber of Abyss, using Farina, Jin, Yelan, and Raiden team, almost every time you can notice that the first round of rotation will not be optimized in damage. But with Shen Yun, if she heals the whole team for the entire duration, this issue can be solved. The stacking efficiency of fanboy points will not be affected by the initial HP of the team, and her continuous team healing can help the team to stack the fanfare points better. TRDR, she will be a better healer than Jin, as her kit works better with Farina's kit. But, there is always a but. Let me remind you once again, Jin is free. Well, I miss the character, she will come to you someday even if you don't want her to. And this is not the only issue. Assuming healer is the only function or feature you are going to push Shen Yun for, that is to use her to replace Jin or Baiju as a healer in Farina plus with Nuvilate or Raiden's team. Then she can't really replace Baiju and Kazuha in C1 Nuvilate's team, cause she does not provide damage buff like Kazuha. Remember, Nuvilets has a talent that requires two teammates to be of different elements to trigger reactions to increase his damage. With that, using Shen Yun plus Kazuha, two animal characters in Nuvi team will not be able to utilize that talent as well. Replacing Kazuha and Baiju with Shen Yun plus any other of few DPS like Vicio will not be any better too, since Shen Yun can't buff damage like Kazuha. Baiju's team healing with Kazuha damage buff together is simply more fitting than any other combinations with Shen Yun in C1 Nuvilets team. If you were to put her with Sijuru Nuvilets plus Farina and Zhongli, then the issue goes back to Jin being a free character. 
it is not much of an upgrade that make her a worthy pool in this team as well. And it is a Sam for Raiden's team. Her healing is better obviously, and she can help the team to survive better than Jin. But is it really worth it to pull for a limited unit to replace Jin for a mere improvement in comfort when playing? I have my doubt on this, but I leave this question for you to decide. Hoya did not add any damage buffing mechanism like Kazuha's on her kid, so I guess they learned their lessons with Kazuha. But that also put her at a very awkward position where she is better than Jin with Raiden's but not better than Baiju's plus Kazuha and Inuvile's team. Anyhow, I guess the reason why they released the new healing set is to compensate that, but Rash Red in my opinion is better than Damage Bar from the new set, unless you already have a Rash Redding unit in the team. Alright, that is for people looking to pull for her to replace Baiju or Jin in Furina's meta team. Now we shall discuss Shenwin's meta value for Xiao Main. I will just say this, Shen Yun is a Shen He but just for Xiao, where unless they release another plunge attacker in the future. I will vaguely cover this since there is no official info yet. At C0, she can't beat C6 Farazan but it's better than Bennett. Yes, that is quite terrible isn't it? But she will be so much better if you are going to pull for her signature weapon, and even more if you are going to pull for her constellations too. I cannot say exactly how much better she will be with signature weapon and constellations, we will know when they release the weapon drip marketing letter. But at C0 R1, she can already beat Sisi's Farazan and any other buffer by a big margin. At C2 R1, she can double or triple the damage per plunge attack from Shell, which is insane. If you were to put Sisi's Farazan, Bennett, or Furina with C2 R1 Shen Yun, the damage your Shell can do is simply unimaginable. This team will even be better than Nuvillet's team in terms of damage. I'm talking about 200k or above per plunge attack. Like I said, I can't talk about the specifics, but you can search the info online, and by just doing a 30 second read up, you understand why I said so. However, does that mean every meta slave should pull for her and invest in this team? It depends. I will just put it simply. If you are a Xiao man that has already or are planning to heavily invest in his builds and team, then yes, you should pull. But also make sure you can at least get her signature weapon and possibly her C2. At C0, her buffs for Xiao is simply not worth the pull for, in my opinion. As it is not too big of an upgrade. And also, although at C2 R1 she can beat Nuvillet meta team, the issue that Xiao's team always have will remain with her, like the energy issues, which also leads to inability to finish off low HP enemies, lack of shooter causing stagger, and of course, plunge gameplay. Plunge attack may not be the best mechanism any gameplay out there, because it is simply less stable. If you are a Xiao man, you probably know that the damaging radius of plunge attacks can sometimes be difficult to control, especially when the enemies likes to move around. And also, not everyone likes that playstyle too. Hence, the team can probably be renovulate in mere numerical damage calculations, but mechanism wise, Xiao with Shen Yun may be less comfortable to play, while Nuvi can just pee on enemy and clear the content. If you really like her and want to mend her just like any other support unit, at C6R1, she can kick Xiao out of the team and be her own support while bringing Varuzan, Bennett, and Vrina to buff herself. With that, she can even deal about 20% more damage than using Shell as many DPS at similar investment. Well, not everyone is that rich, but yes, it is a possible option. I will cover her pool value in general later, but in short, she is not better than C2 Furina in terms of pool value, cause she is simply less flexible than C2 Furina, which can be put into any other team with any healer. Alright, as for her viability with other DPS to make use of the plunge attack mechanism, I cannot say for sure which DPS will be good with Shen Yun but most DPS have really low plunge attack scaling, so already about 90% DPS will not work well with her. Of course, Gaming should be able to utilize her kit really well, since he is pretty much designed to pair with Xian Yun, so he can probably perform better or more optimally than most characters except Xiao. While for the rest, first off, both users can never do enough damage as their plunge scaling is little to nothing. As for Jio and Dendro characters like Nahida, Ito, or Item, since they are of elements that cannot soar to make use of the rest red, they will not be able to perform optimally as well, or at least not better than their normal playstyle. Animal DPS wise, some with high scaling and animal infusion like C6 Kazuha, Linnet, Wanderer, and Helzo can be viable, but there is no point to push and you just to try to make them better in the meta, as Xiao is already there. As for other DPS, some can be viable, but most are downgrade compared to their normal playstyle. Some that could be an upgrade are probably Hu Tao and Dilu, as they are pyro character with pyro infusion and decent plunge scaling. If you can consistently proc the vaporize, then perhaps plunging gameplay can really be an upgrade. Using Furina, Shen Yun, Hu Tao, or Dilu with another consistent of your hydro applier can be good, but you have to make sure the hydro application is really consistent. Also, my doubt lies in the comfort of playing. For example, if you were to use Yelan as the off your hydro for Hu Tao, then you need to do a charge attack into a plunge, and that sounds a bit hideous to play with. 
Using Mona or Kokomi otherwise, you require the mobs to stay within a specific location. Plus, they will deal so much less damage when compared to Yelan. Not to mention Hu Tao is already losing the HP buff when paired with Shen Yun, while they look himself otherwise is a standard character released back in the Stone Edge of version 1.0. It is viable, but it still makes no sense to pull for a limited unit just to save a standard character for meta purpose. But anyway, this still requires some in-depth testing at her release to test the viability and is it really an upgrade to the normal gameplay. But I would say it is probably not worth it to just pull for her, her weapons and her constellation for any DPS except Xiao and maybe Gaming. Now, for Shen Yun's build, if you were to play her with Xiao, use the new healing set, the Song of Day Pass, since you can't restrain anymore anyway. Otherwise, use the Wind's Head. If you are to use any other DPS of different elements, the 40% Rash Red from Venerous Set in general is better than the damage buff from the healing set. Unless you are already running her with Zhongli or any other Rash Redding unit in the team. As for stats to look for, if you are to play her just for the healing utility, look for enough energy recharge first. If you have enough of that, then look for attack percent. And then healing bonus for the circlet. Weapon-wise, Prototype Ember and Farmonius Codex are a solid choice for energy utility. With Farmonius Codex, requires some crit rate in substats, but generally Prototype Ember is easier to build around with. As to use her as a plunge buffer, you would also want to make sure that your burst is consistent in uptime. So look for enough energy recharge first, then stack attack as her buff and healing scale off attack. There is also no need to use healing bonus circlet for plunge buffer. The stats to look for here also depends on the weapon. Like I said, the Signature Fan is the best option, then followed by the Clamp Event Weapons, or Swan Eye being the second best option. Otherwise, any weapon with high attack stat or energy recharge utility are viable too. Generally, you would also want energy recharge sense, otherwise attack sense, if you are using the fan or any other weapons that provide enough energy recharge like the Farmonius Codex. And with that, the following is the pool value of Shen Yun for different type of players. If you are to pull for her for exploration purpose, yeah sure. She is a solid exploration unit, as she is one of the fastest unit. But just know that you won't be using her healing during exploration. If you are to pull her just for the healer utility in Verena teams, then she is viable but not recommended, just solely because Jin, a free standard character, is there. If you are a Xiaoman, and I mean those crazy type of Xiaoman, then yes, she is almost a must pull. But only if you are willing to put in enough pulls to at least get her weapons and possibly C2. I mean this, because if you only care about the meta and don't really like Xiao and his gameplay, then Xian Yun is not for you. I also have to remind you how unrecommendable weapon banners can be if you can't use both weapon featured. So unless you can also make use of Nahida's signature weapons too, then maybe it is still justifiable. So you gotta love Xiao so much that you are willing to put in that amount of pulls with the risk of losing 3 to 4 50-50s. If you still main shell to this day, you also probably do not care too much about the pool value and meta, right? That is why I would 100% recommend you to get C2 and her weapons. Of course, at C0, she is still great, but just not good enough as an upgrade to replace Bennett only. If you are going to pull her for a plunge utility but not for shell, it is not recommended in general, since the normal gameplay of character like Hu Tao is already very solid. I think just pulling her for a change in gameplay is really worth it. But that is just my opinion without having actually tested the comfortability of the team. Unless you find that changing playstyle for fun is justifiable for yourselves, then sure, just go and have fun. If you are rich and want to man her, go for C6R1, she is stronger than Shell at that investment. If you are looking to pull for her for a future investment, it is generally not recommended. If it's truly gonna be useful for future plunge DPS, then just wait for her reruns. For meta slaves, no, it is not recommended for you to pull for both C2R1 and Shell for meta purpose because she is simply less generic as a buffer. A similar or even cheaper investment of C2, Freena is way better in terms of pool value, since she gives a 100% damage buff that can be applied to any form of damage, while Xian Yun only can provide the buff for plunges. As C0 otherwise healer like Kokomi, Raiju can be plugged into more teams than her, so her pool value is also lower than them. Alright, now I will cover the general pools planning for meta slaves in version 4.4. I will not make another video about pool value of these characters and weapons again. Please watch the other video I posted a while ago on that. But the pool's planning for meta slaves are pretty much as such. If you don't own Ahida, then you can pull for C0 and Ahida. The rest are easy skip. Shen Yun, unless you are a Shell Man or Shell Stand, no reason to pull for meta. Gami can be selected for free anyway through events of 4 and 4, so there is no need to pull. C6 Gami is also too expensive. Build your PT at your own risk. As for Xiao, you need C2 R1 Shen Yun and C6 Farazan to be competitive enough against Nuvillet's team. So in general, not a recommendable pool for meta slaves. Yai can only be used in literally two teams, with either Tinari or Ahitam to be optimal. So not recommendable to pool for meta as well. 
weapon wise unless you can use both weapon in a banner then you may pull but honestly most of these weapons are really bad anyway they are either too weak or has a good free to play replacement or they literally cannot be used by any other characters like the new Shenyun's fan only Shenyun can use that fan it is unjustifiable to pull unless you are a shell man Nahida's weapon is put with the fan so the risk is too big plus Nahida's at C0 with full EM build has so many good 4 star options so I cannot recommend her weapons as well Primordial Jet can be obtained from standard banner so please don't waste your pulls there Yeah it's Cupcake otherwise with the same reason as Nahida's signature because the other 5 star feature being Primordial Jet I cannot recommend that as well So yes in short C0 Nahida is all you need no need for C2 unless you already own her at C1. Save all the pools for future meta changing units in Nutlan or wait for reruns of characters like Kazuha, Zhongli, or Furina. The specifics are covered in the previous video I said earlier, so yeah, go watch if you want to know more. And I need to emphasize that the above pool plannings are only applicable for real meta slaves, even I might not follow this planning. A real meta slaves are cold blooded, they do not develop any sort of liking for any characters in the game. All they want is to clear Abyss very comfortably without having to reset and also without having to spend a single cent. Everyone has their own way to play the game and they just find that this is the best and the most fun way for them to enjoy the game. So let everyone be themselves and play the game however they want. And that's pretty much it. Again, a lot of things regarding Shenjin still require in-depth testing, which I might not be able to do unless I decided to pull for her day one. There's a lot of factors that's holding me back like I have a decently built Jin already, and still waiting on more info of Chiori's kit etc. But yeah, she is definitely very good looking. I like her design a lot, so I'm indecisive too. Xiaomans are gonna eat good next patch. I swear to god, there must be some Xiaomans within the dev team. So yeah, Xiaomans start prepping a C2R1 amount of gems so you can win the game. Of course, please don't spend the money that you don't have, spend responsibly, and most importantly, have fun. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Like and sub if you do, and comment down below if you are going to pull for Shenyun or not, and for what reason you are pulling her for. By the way, we had reached 100 subscribers too. I really appreciate each of every one of you tuning in. Thank you so much. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.